Well, what I feel very strongly is that we mustn't be caught by surprise by our own advancing technology. This has happened again and again in history, with technology has advanced, and they, they, this changes social conditions, and suddenly people have found themselves in a situation which they didn't foresee, and doing all sorts of things they didn't really want to do. I mean, let us uh, take the after all, a piece of very recent and very painful history is the propaganda used by Hitler, which was incredibly effective. I mean, he was using every modern device at that time. He didn't have TV, but he had the, the radio, which he used to the fullest extent, and was able to uh, impose his will on an immense mass of people. The fact that a medium is not something neutral. It, it does something to people. It takes hold of them, it rubs them up, it massages them, it bumps them around and uh, uh, as it were chiropractically. And uh, the general roughing up that any society gets from a medium, especially a new medium, is what is intended to uh, be indicated in that title. I mean, this is the old idea of the, of the uh, medium being a message. So uh, what is the nature of love and life and how one behaves and the kinds of meanings and values that one uh, associates with being an American and so forth. All of these are implicit in, in most all films made. But if you have in cassette and cable distribution literally hundreds and thousands of different expressions from hundreds and thousands of different people, you know, artists, multiplicity of voices on about what constitutes reality, you're, not, you're going to find an enormous change in the political and economic structure of the entire country. To me, this whole business is not about equality, it's about power. Or, to put it another way, it's about equality, so long as we define that as power. What kind of power? The power to define the context that establishes the reality in which we want to live. I think what feminists want, I think what all the minority groups want, I think what uh, environmentalist reformers want is not just access, but the power to control the meaning context that defines the reality that you see and the reality that you want to live in. What this means then is that we, we want access to the power to create new contexts. This is John Coate, former member of the farm commune out in Tennessee. Check out his language. The well is a place where professional and personal interactions overlap, because that's what a village is. You go down to the butcher, the blacksmith, you transact your business. Okay, I live in Silicon Valley. I couldn't find a butcher if you paid me, let alone a blacksmith. This is the reversionary language of commune building. Come back now and becoming attached to computers. Ladies and gentlemen, that language haunts us today. The dream of utopia that animated the communes of the late 1960s is now a linguistic, a cultural, a style resource for the builders of Uber, an Airbnb, of Google, of Facebook. The dreams of community that animated us in 1968 have become the language by which computer worlds today are building communities that expose us to exactly the kinds of military industrial monitoring we protested in 1968. That's where we are. I hope you feel a chill, I feel a chill. It's really sort of terrifying. Never, ever think of utopia as some kind of silly, naive, you know, dream of bourgeois happiness or something. Uh, utopian is one thing. It's a desire. Utopia is not a place. It's not necessarily a condition. It's a desire. No desire is ever naive. Only expectations are naive. Begun to fall. Cry.
Drop circles in the carpet. Oh, come on. Sinking, feeling. Spin me around again and close my eyes. This can't be happening when me. something you can download from an FTP site. It's not something you'll find on the World Wide Web. I'm sorry to say wisdom is something that you can only gain through experience, maturity, time, judgment. Again, experience and hard work. Sorry, gang. There's no shortcut. There's no icon that you can click on. There's no entry on your hot list that will say, make me wise. I wish. I yearn for it. There's no shortcut. Information is power. No, I don't believe it. I have on, on my finger a note. How much time do I have? 